Hey everybody, here's where I'm at. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is make sure I got the uh, steering working correctly. Um, you can see I've got the arm connected here. So, um, I used the thinnest um, clevis that I could find, but um, it's still rubbing up against the uh, ductwork. Um, so I had to fashion a little shim there, but um, I've got that going right there. You can see up there. And then this is just a piece of uh, 440 rod um, that I'm using. Uh, this piece is just a little bit too long, so it's uh, not going to fit for final. But um, I just wanted to get this going. Uh, one of the things I had to do is, one, I made a shim uh, for the duct work so that uh, this would move freely. The other thing I had to do is move it onto the inner um, hole on the servo arm there. Um, it just, it, it was catching on the, uh, the part where the screw goes through on the wooden part there. So um, hopefully this should be enough movement though for what we need it. I'm trying to do it through a small hole there. So anyways, bet we get about that much. Well, anyways, you get the idea. I lost the rod back there. Oh, the other thing, too, is um, the way that this is run um, on all the pictures I've seen from, like, uh, Gun Rad's build thread, and then um, I think there's an F-16 down under build thread. Anyways, uh, they run the rod just underneath the air cylinder there, and it seems to be about the only place that you can. So, anyways, so that's where I ran mine as well. Um, as far as the shim... I just took a uh, piece of uh, scrap balsa and added it to the top there. This whole rounded part up here is, is new and I just kind of conformed it to the shape of the, uh, um, the landing gear uh, bulkhead there. So anyways you can see it gives it just enough oomph so that when we uh, move the ductwork up it's going to uh, be able to move. It still touches a little bit but I don't think it's going to bind or anything like that. But that's about the best I could do without tweaking the duct. So, anyways, all right. So the next thing that I'm working on is this little piece right here. Now this isn't in the kit. It's uh, something that I'm making. And does anybody have any guesses what that could be? So I'll let you know that there is. If you can see down in there, can't really. But anyways, it's uh, kind of cut out. There's a notch. In between those two uh, pieces of plywood there um, and it's also rounded so anybody have any guesses um, I'm not gonna put this in till the next video so if anybody's got any guesses let me know um, don't win any prizes but uh, I'll give you kudos so anyway um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll go on to the next step. I want to show you kind of how the ducting works and all that stuff before we do anything final. So, Okay, I wanted to show you kind of how the duct goes in, um, but it's very difficult here with one hand. I do have a tripod, but I can't seem to get an angle where you can um, see this very good. But um, the biggest obstacle is basically there's a ridge on either side of the fuselage here that you've got to kind of go under. Um, this bottom part of the duct right there um, is flexible enough that uh, you can go over the gear. I left the gear in because I want to try everything in its uh, final kind of stages there make sure everything works. So. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put this on the tripod and you can uh, hear the scary noises that it makes. Um, uh, it feels like you're going to bust something, but uh, you, you don't. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the tripod and I'll pull it through and you guys can kind of hear the trauma. So here we go. Okay, I've just cleared those ridges that I was talking about, and we pretty much just kind of wiggle it, and we need to get it over that steering arm. All right, well, that's pretty much all there is to it. 
So, let's see if you guys can see this. Okay, and this is pretty much a repeat shot of what I've shown you guys before. But, anyways, here is with the uh, ductwork in. Um, just need to tape these edges down when before we pull it, pour in our resin. Um, same thing on the bottom here. Just tape that down, and then we'll pour resin in there. And then with our final shaping, we can uh, kind of sand it to the correct shape. Um, <clears throat> if you look on any of the uh, other forms or whatever, um, uh, Stu from Stu Max or whatever, um, we highly suggest that you uh, radius this edge there so to get a smooth um, airflow in there. So we'll be doing that when we get to that point. So um, mainly what I wanted to show you though is once everything's in here. Is that we still are able to control our wheel. I really can't get a good grip on this thing. When, okay, here we go. Anyways, you can see we can still control our wheel pretty good. And you can just barely hear it hitting the top there, but I think it's going to be alright. So, anyway. Just want to let you guys know where I was at. Um, I think I am going to run one more coat of the high saw on the inside on all the bulkheads and everything before we um, go ahead and install this. So, um, but I'll give you a hint on that uh, piece earlier. We need to install that first before we can uh, glue in the ductwork. So, anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.